Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and today I want to talk about these earphone free, truly wireless earbuds. So earphone reached out to me and they were like, hey, you want to check out these earphone freeze? And they look pretty good and I thought that name was pretty clever. So I'm like, yeah, why not? I'll check them out. So I've been using them for the last two weeks and I want to share with you guys my thoughts on them about the earphone free earbuds. But before we get into them real quick, if you, know my, if you know me and you've been following my channel, then you know that I like to use the Apple AirPods as my go-to earbuds. And I did a full video on it. You can check it up up here. But the gist of that video basically is that I like those AirPods. I love AirPods because of the ease of use and just how comfortable they are. Now, I know comfort is a subjective thing and AirPods are not comfortable for everybody, but they are super comfortable for me and it's just easy and I just love how easy it is to use. So I'll be referencing to those a lot in this video, but this is not a direct comparison between the ear funds and the AirPods, just those are my like reference points when I'm testing out these earbuds. Okay, so in the box, when you open up the earphone free earbuds, you'll see the actual earbuds in this foam housing right at the top. And then right under them, you have the case and you can take them out and put them together. And then right on the bottom, you have this box. And in the box, you have the charging cable and it is USB-C, which is fantastic. I think we should USB-C everything. And then you also have different tips. There's tips that are already installed in the earbuds, but then there's additional tips that come inside this box. And then if we move everything out the way, you will see the user manual and a bunch of different little pamphlets underneath all the foam housing that the earbuds actually sit in. So the first thing you're gonna notice about these earbuds is just how nice they're designed. They look really nice and they are have a very clean design to them. Now they're made out of plastic, so it's not gonna be a very premium feel, but it's not a cheap plastic either. It feels nice to the touch and it feels nice in the hands. They're also very lightweight and you have LED lights on the left and the right earbuds. So you know the battery levels and all the little notifications that you'll get on these earbuds. There are touch controls right on the actual circle or the actual flat part of the earbuds. The only problem that I found with this is that when they are in your ear and you try to push them, then you can't really push them without pushing them deep into your ear. And that really actually kind of hurts. So you have to sort of grab the back of it and then press on it and that's the only way that you can go ahead and change it. Now, I do wish it was touch sensitive or uh, you didn't have to press as hard because if you say you're just going to be pushing on them, then you're definitely gonna have problems and it's gonna hurt in the ear. But with a little bit of pinching and grabbing from the back end, then you are able to use the buttons on the earbuds. So some of the cool things about these earphone free earbuds is just how much features that's packed in them. So first of all, they're USB-C charging in the case, which is great. And because everything that I use is USB-C from my phone to my MacBook Pro to my iPad Pro. So it's just the one cable life. And then the other thing about it is the actual case is Qi wireless charging. So you can top it off with any Qi wireless charger and you can even top it off with your Samsung Galaxy uh, S series or the Note series because they have reverse wireless charging. And I'm sure there'll be more phones coming out in the future with reverse wireless charging. It comes with Bluetooth 5.0 and these earbuds are also waterproof. It comes with an IPX seven rating which is waterproof to sweat and you may even be able to get these really wet uh, with some water or wear them out in the rain and you're not going to have any issues and they also have quick charge so these are rated to last about six hours and i will tell you how long that i was able to get out of them but if they do die on you then you can put them in the case and 10 minutes of charging will give you two hours of listening time so that's pretty awesome i love anything that has quick charge and these earbuds are just fantastic because if you forgot to charge them, you could top them off real quick. Or if they die on you, you could charge them off real quick if you're running into the gym for a couple of hours. So let's talk about sound quality because essentially that's probably the most important thing when it comes to earbuds. And these earbuds sound fantastic. Now in comparison to my Air AirPods, then these are as good as the AirPods. And in some categories, they even sounded better than the AirPods. And what I mean by that is because I think of the fit. So AirPods, they actually sit 
on your ear or in your ear. They just sit there while these guys actually go in the ear. And because they go in the ear, they end up forming a better seal than the AirPods. So the sound actually comes out a little bit better. And the mids are great, the lows are great, and they are on par, like I said, with the AirPods. They sound about similar to the same. But one area that they differ in is the bass. So the earphone free earbud earbuds, that's a tongue twister right there. Try saying that three times. But these guys are bass heavy. So if you are listening to music, then you're really gonna feel the bass, but it's not overwhelming where it takes away from the vocals and it takes away from the instruments and the music. Everything in the mids and the lows are perfectly fine, but you're gonna get a lot more bass. And then the fact that they form a seal around your ear, it's going to make it even sound much better. So for listening for music, listening to podcasts, YouTube videos, Netflix, all that, you are gonna be immersed right into whatever you're watching or listening to. On the flip side, if you are taking a call, it's a hit or miss. And what I mean by that is if you're sitting in a quiet room, like this one right here where it's just me and nobody else, and I call somebody, they can hear me perfectly fine and they have no issues. But I've had people complain about hearing me when I'm out in public, whether I'm at a restaurant or I'm at the mall where there's a lot of ambient noise and there's a lot of ambient sound going around. Then I've had people ask me, hey, what are you saying? I can't hear you. And then I would just have to take them off and take the call regularly, where I never had those issues with the AirPods. So that's the gist on the sound quality. Great for music, YouTube videos, Netflix, podcasts, whatever, but calls, calls really depend on where you are when you're taking the call. Okay, so the final thing that I wanna to touch on before I get to some things that I feel like these could improve on is the battery life. Battery life was superb, it was great. I actually used them on a road trip that I was going to Chicago with some friends and it's about a six, six and a half hour drive from where I'm at. So I was just not driving that day and I was use, uh, using these earbuds to watch Netflix on my phone. And here's a screenshot of how long I've listened, I watched Netflix on that trip. I think it was over five and a half hours, but I haven't had these guys die on me for about five and a half hours. I was just listening and watching uh, TV shows and movies on Netflix on this road trip and they performed like a champ. And so I don't think you're gonna have any issues with battery life. Now that paired with the fact that they have quick charge and you can just put them right in the case and 10 minutes get two additional hours of listening time, then you're really not worried about battery life. So in terms of battery life, I can personally guarantee you that you're gonna get at least five and a half hours of listening time without any issues. So overall, I think these are great headphones, especially for the price. They come in right around 50 bucks at the time of making this video. I'll leave a link down below in the description of where you can pick these up from Amazon, but overall they sound great. The only thing that I would really improve on is two things. One, the call quality. And as I dug more into this, I realized the call actually only comes from one uh, earbud, the right earbud. So if you have the left earbud, then you're not gonna be able to take any calls or there's no mic on there. So I think they could improve by putting a mic on there so that that mic can pick up ambient noise and cancel things out or something like that. But then again, they are $50 earbuds, so they have to make sacrifices somewhere. But that is one area that I think they can improve on. The second area that I think they can improve on is the touch um, controls on the side. It's just kind of difficult to try to press it when they're in your ears without having them push deeper in your ear, causing some uh, discomfort. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of um, touch earbuds or touch pads, but I think right now that would probably have been a better um, implementation of controls with these ones since they have flat ends instead of actually trying to press buttons and those buttons are very stiff. So if those th two things improve or if you can overlook those two things, then these are definitely great air earbuds that you should definitely pick up. Like I said, I'll put links down below in the description. If you guys have any questions about these earbuds, then let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be over there answering questions. Other than that, I really enjoy testing these things out. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep them around as a second pair of earbuds whenever I don't have my AirPods with me. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.